Hey, Tanners are here. The purpose of this test is to determine whether a file encoded using CBR will deliver a better quality of experience than a file encoded using 200% constrained VBR under constrained bandwidth conditions. To test this, we created a synthetic test file, here's yours truly, with 30 seconds of talking head, 30 seconds of ballet, 30 seconds of talking head, 30 seconds of ballet, all the way through to the end of the uh, and, and the file that we tested is three minutes long. This is a longer version of it, but we stopped the test file at three minutes. We encoded the file to HLS format using Capella Systems Cambria FTC encoder, and we used this encoding ladder. And we encoded with a keyframe interval of two seconds and a segment size of six seconds. And then these are obviously the streams that we encoded. The VBR version was 200% constrained VBR, which means that the top bit rate for this file was set at 9 megabits per second. The top for this is 6.2 megabits per second, and so on. The other file was encoded straight CBR. The CBR file looked like this. This is a tool called Bitrate Viewer, and Bitrate Viewer shows each individual GOP. And what you can see here is here's the 30 second segment of Talking Head, the first GOP where the ballet started was a very tall one here, here, and here. Um, and correspondingly, the first GOP of the Talking Head sequence here, here, and here is pretty small. So here's what the file looks like encoded via CBR. And here's what the file looks like encoded using VBR. And again, it was 200% constrained VBR. So this is the talking head, this is the ballet, this is the talking head, this is the ballet. And the concern, of course, is that if you're distributing this file under constrained bandwidth conditions, say right around here, uh, these segments will go through fine, but these will cause either a drop in playback quality, uh, some kind of stalling event, or both. So that's what we were testing for. And how we set the constraint was with a tool called Charles Web Debugging Proxy. And that's right here. So Charles Web Debugging Proxy. And Charles Web Debugging Proxy has two features that we used extensively in this test. Number one is we set the throttle on the playback. And we did that with these settings here. And we set the throttle at 4.5 megabits per second. Uh, download 4.5 megabits per second upload, although upload speed doesn't really matter. And what that looks like in Safari is this is Bitrate Viewer, and with these throttle settings, we see that Safari uh, tested actual download throughput of 4.5 megabits per second down and 4.57 megabits per second up. So this throttle setting was effective throughout the, uh, the test, and we used it for all the tests. We used Safari for all the tests that we produced, and we had two sets of tests. One set of tests called the M3U8 files directly. So here's the M3U8 files directly, and here Safari would play these files using Safari's own HLS player. In addition, we created web pages that embedded the JW player into the same playlists, and then we played those again from Safari from these web pages, but in that case, uh, the JW player was used rather than the native HLS player of Safari. In both playlists, we set the first stream at the 3.1 megabit per second iteration. So coming back to here, when you create your HLS files, you get to choose which file is retrieved first. The general rule is you want to you want to choose the file that's going to give you the uh, that's going to end up being the average bitrate actually used during the session. And because we were throttling at 4.5 megabits per second, we didn't think that we would be able to download this, so we chose this one as the starting point for both CBR and VBR files. Okay, um, why did we use 4.5 megabits per second? Because if you look at the Netflix. Uh, let me find that real quick. Netflix ISP speed index. Okay, and it's slow because we've got the throttle set up. And if you go to USA, you see that the average throughput, and this, this is the throughput of the files delivered 
by Netflix over these services was around. So the top, uh, the top throughput actually realized during prime time distribution was 3.61 megabits per second. In order to achieve 3.61 megabit per second file, bandwidth, effective bandwidth had to be somewhere north of 4.5, maybe even 5.0. So we set our throttle at 4.5, assuming that that would allow the delivery of this file fairly consistently from both the VBR and the CBR file. Okay, that's the premise and the explanation of testing. Let me shut this. And what we did before each test was clear the Safari cache, which we did here. And going back to Charles, we cleared this structure space here. And let me point out one other feature of Charles that I meant to mention but didn't. Charles lets us see which files are being retrieved during playback. So the last series of tests that I ran related to a file encoded with 110% constrained VBR, and you can see that all the files from layer one were retrieved. And it's a really cool feature that will become very evident to you once we start our tests. So why don't we just do that? <laughs> 